kung fu for the NES, man. Yeah, I haven't made a video in a very long time, fellas. Been so busy shopping, holidays, kids' school. We got Andrew playing the NES, original kung fu. I really made this video because I have some good stuff here. I got this new um, OSSC adapter. It's called the open source um, scan converter. I don't know if you can see that there. But I'm gonna get to that in a minute. I just started off with the NES Kung Fu because this was like my favorite version. Besides the arcade. I used to play this back in the days in the arcade. This music is so awesome, listen to that. Of course the NES is in stereo. There's been a lot of good things happening with the ColecoVision. I'm gonna show you something crazy. I picked up a couple of games here. This is the recent, latest one I got probably a day ago. Jeepers Creepers. I believe it's a 2011 homebrew release. You can grab this on atarih.com. But you know what? You know what, let's turn this off, Andrew. We're gonna start the ColecoVision. Cause we have Kung Fu for the ColecoVision. Made by ColecoVision. Awesome homebrew, awesome part. Hold on, let me get the sound here. Change this BBM. Should be number two. This requires the Super Game module. Hold on, before you get into that, gotta show off the box. Look at that. Gorgeous. Play sounds and scores just like the arcade game. Hold on, hold on. Let's shut this down for a sec, because I gotta show the booklet too. Look at that. If we would have got this back in the days, oh man, forget about it. Been playing this for days, hours. Look at that. Professionally done by Collective Vision. You can go head over to their site, shoot them an email, order one. It's it's a pretty good port. Remember, this requires the Super Game module. Let's do this. I'm not gonna get the best picture here. Let me see. I have to lower some some brightness. There we go. This game is tough. Especially on the ColecoVision. Andrew's got the modded ball uh, point uh, ColecoVision controller. Ooh, losing some color there. What's that all about? Look at that. Kung Fu for the ColecoVision. That music is jamming, man. These guys are tough. I was saying the ColecoVision version was a little cheap. But if you play the arcade, these guys do run from you. And they're a pain in the ass sometimes. Oh gosh. Sorry about that. Yeah, I have so much new stuff. Also got the Adam versions of Donkey Kong and Donkey Kong Jr. With the extra, um, you know, Donkey Kong with the pie level there. Plays really good. Need the super game module for this one. This is by Team Pixel Boy. Both of them, Donkey Kong Jr. also. Also has the extra um, arcade board there that we never gotten on the ColecoVision. Beautiful, you, you gotta see it, it's just beautiful. Also saves your high score. Uh, this is also another latest release by ColecoVision. Pick this one up. Beautiful junk wall. Um, and of course, Mario Bros. I was really happy to get this. I remember um, recently, uh, ColecoVision, they had uh, opened up their vault and it was like, yeah, we got these games for sale. And I saw Mario Brothers, I jumped on it, it was very expensive. I mean, compared to $500 on eBay or $300, the price I got for it was awesome. Um, I'm, you know what, I'm gonna get into this uh, open scan line, not scan line, open source um, converter, open source converter. You know what, Angela, shut this down. I'm so sorry. You know I love you, buddy. That's my famous son, Andrew. <laughs> um, I have a little special treat here too. I also have a, uh, another ColecoVision that has the, what do you call that? The F-18A mod, VGA out. There goes uh, Jeepers Creepers right there. Um, I have this hooked up to the uh, to the OSSC. Let's get some brightness. You know what's cool about this system? You can order the OSSC. You have to be on a waiting list though. And you can order it with a remote control, but I opt not to get the um, remote control. So um, what's cool, it has a feature, infrared, whatever, infrared, or I don't even know how to say it. 
where you can calibrate any any compatible um, repro reprogrammable um, remote. And uh, all I have to do is press here, custom. And uh, I can get the LED back on if I want to. There you go. So the VGA is coming in. Let's see what we got here. RGB, HV, 525Ps. Um, it's a 31 kilohertz signal coming out at uh, about 60 hertz. And you get this beautiful picture. This thing is awesome because um, it generates scan lines. It can generate it pixel perfect, guys. You can also control it. I'll be making more videos um, showing this thing in detail. Um, fire this up, Andrew. This is the OLED LG, and it looks absolutely stunning. Um, the guy who did this mod for me, he goes by the name of Yerky. Also got some old ColecoVision um, controllers fixed up. Pretty, pretty solid. And he could straighten the wires for you because you know the ColecoVision comes with um, like a spiral type of wire. He could straighten these wires up, make it, make it easy and longer. You can find him on um, Atari Age forums or um, what is that? Uh, on YouTube. <laughs> Yeah, he goes by the name of Yerky. You can just, just look him up, give him a holla if you want to get anything modded. Let's see. Let's see if I get some nice darkness. Having a hard time. Press the press the number one key, Andrew. Oh, we don't have no sound. Hold on. There we go. I have everything hooked up into the receiver. This has a a phono um, stereo jack right out, right into the receiver and aux. Not a problem. The OSSC, um, you can have it, you can have anything hooked up into the HDMI on any modern television. It has a, a line doubler, triple line doubler. You got to see the other stuff like Sega Saturn, Dreamcast and VGA. It just looks absolutely stunning. The scan lines are awesome. You can even get um, vertical scan lines for shooters. Let me, maybe I'll show you a little quick option set up of that. Um, I have to set up here. Hold on. I'm going to try to switch it up. Pretty bad with the camera. I'm so sorry. Let me see what we got here. I don't think, there we go. See how I just changed the scan lines? Vertical, horizontal. Pretty crazy. Pretty crazy. You can squeeze the image according to your TV specs, you know. TV has a 4x3, you know, picture, position, whatever. You can also hook this up to your eye scan. You have like a VP50 Pro uh, scaler, works beautifully. This thing has no lag, I'm telling you. Uh, it's like lag free. Everything is spot on. I just picked up a, a 4K OLED. This one is very old. I think I got it in 2013. The input lag in this one is pretty bad. That's why I don't praise this TV too much. But I did pick up the what is that the OLED 55 B6P and the input lag in that is way better than this especially in game mode I'm gonna demonstrate that in a couple of you know in a couple of, in a while I'm gonna show a couple of videos on that but um this is my first OLED and it's rocking it's rocking the OSSC maybe we should throw on um, Kung Fu on this real quick So many home bruises coming out. Even for Atari, check out Atari Age. We're in the end of um, November right now. They're gonna have a whole bunch of new games for your 7800. Even even at, um, they have an Asteroids game coming out for the Jaguar. Can't wait. I'm gonna have my my Jaguar. Um, I'm gonna get a SCART cable for it. I'm gonna play it through the OSSC. Let me turn the lights off. See what we get up. Absolutely stunning. This game is pretty cool. It has an arcade mode. It's very hard, very fast. I hope you guys are having a happy holiday. All right, so um, till my next video, I'll see you guys. Take it easy.